Hello, welcome to Neil Scribe. I'm a huge fan of robotics, and like many people out there, Boston Dynamics is my favorite robotics company by far. They've been posting jaw-dropping videos of their incredible robots for over 11 years, and since then, the company has gained a massive following. Every time I watch their videos, I wonder when will we start seeing legged robots implemented in society? And lately, I've been wondering if Boston Dynamics will even be around when the legged robotics industry unfolds. We will get to that in a little bit, but let's first see what's going on with the company. Back in June, Boston Dynamics started selling Spot, their canine-inspired robot. Before that, Spot was available for lease only, and early customers used Spot in various applications and a variety of industries. They've used Spot to document construction progress, monitor remote or hazardous environments such as power generation facilities, uh, decommissioned nuclear sites, factory floors, and research laboratories. So selling Spot is a big step for the company and the adoption of legged robots. The sales for Spot have recently doubled and Boston Dynamics also started to sell in Canada, the UK, and the EU. But the company needs to work on reducing production cost, in my opinion. As it stands now, the price for Spot is over $74,000. There's no question Boston Dynamics has the ambition to push the boundaries of robotics, but I'm not convinced that they have the competitive fire or the vision on the business side. But it wasn't until I started looking at the competition that I started thinking this. And for that, let's head over to the other side of the world where there's another canine inspired robot up for sale in China. This is A1 developed by the Chinese company Unitree Robotics. A1's feet have sensors allowing for more efficient movements. It's capable of performing jumps and flips. The battery life is two and a half hours and A1 has a top walking speed of 3.3 meters per second. Other features include a smart camera with real-time video transmission and the ability to carry 5 kilograms. Not bad for such a young company, Unitree was founded in 2017 by Xiang Wang. What's interesting is Wang was interviewed a while back and he said that Boston Dynamics founder Mark Raybert was his idol. His goal is to make legged robots as popular and affordable as smartphones and drones. What I like about that is Wang has a clear and focused objective. Boston Dynamics' mission, however, is to make the most advanced robots on the planet, which they've done. While this makes for killer videos on YouTube, it does not necessarily lead to a focused path to incredible consumer products. And in my opinion, Unitree and possibly other robotics companies are fundamentally different than Boston Dynamics. Boston Dynamics seems to me like an R&D lab that is forced to commercialize products so that its parent company can continue to fund its research. And again, don't get me wrong, Boston Dynamics is still my favorite robotics company, but I think they're just not focused on the business side as much as they should. I mean, unless there's a market for parkour robots that I don't know about, this may be a stretch, but they may be at risk of being the park of legged robots, in my opinion. If you don't know, Park was the R&D subsidiary of Xerox, and they developed the Xerox Alto, the first computer with a graphical user interface, a decade before mass market machines with GUIs became available. And obviously, as it turned out, Xerox was not a significant player in the PC market. And I think it's possible that Boston Dynamics and SoftBank might have the same fate if they sleep on the competition. This is why, in my opinion, Mark Raybird is a Steve Wozniak piece of the puzzle and why I think Boston Dynamics is missing a Steve Jobs piece. If you don't know, Steve Wozniak was the genius engineer behind Apple in the early days and all he wanted to do was build computers. And then Jobs, of course, was the businessman, the visionary. And again, I think Boston Dynamics is missing that visionary leader that knows how to develop products consumers will want and also afford. If Boston Dynamics parent company SoftBank was smart, it would double down on its funding. I think SoftBank should fund a separate production department within Boston Dynamics with the sole purpose of turning the company's research into great consumer products. You see, Boston Dynamics needs to start learning the best practices in manufacturing and needs to start learning how to reduce production cost, things like that. Or in my opinion, it will eventually be left behind. Just look at Unitree. Unitree plans to sell A1 for under $10,000, which is entering the range of affordability. 
And A1 will be sold for private ownership, and who knows, perhaps some individuals will find creative ways to put the robots to use. But we don't know that until the technology is available. Now let's take a look at another company, Ghost Robotics. Ghost Robotics was founded in 2015 and is based out of Philadelphia. What's exciting about Ghost Robotics is they're teaming up with the 3D company Origin to cut production cost of legged robots. Together, they developed the Spirit series of robots, which can be manufactured at a fraction of the cost of traditional methods. You see, with Origin's 3D printing technology, Ghost Robotics does not have to invest in expensive tooling machines, and this keeps costs low. And Ghost Robotics already has a solid customer base. Their customers include the military, the Department of Homeland Security, and other public safety uh, entities. As a matter of fact, the US military is testing out the robots in reconnaissance, environment mapping, communications, scouting, and security. So it's clear that Boston Dynamics has paved the way for legged robots and its research inspired a multitude of startups that we've been seeing springing up recently. On top of Unitree and Ghost Robotics, there's also Agility Robotics based out of Oregon. Agility has made incredible progress in just a few years from its robot Cassie to Digit. And there are at least a dozen more legged robotics companies throughout the world and there's probably more on the way. It's often the case that the pioneers in technology rarely conquer the industry that it made possible. Look at Xerox PARC as we discussed earlier, or John Goodenough, the inventor of the lithium ion battery. Neither Xerox or John Goodenough um, reaped the benefits of what they pioneered. There's no question, Boston Dynamics is the best. I mean, look at Atlas, watching Atlas videos never gets old. But tomorrow, that is another story. In business, it takes more than the best technology. You need to be in tune with what customers will want even if there's not a market yet. And oftentimes, you need a killer instinct in business. A strike first, strike hard, no mercy. Boston Dynamics has the Steve Wozniak. That's half of the puzzle. And, and in my opinion, they need a Steve Jobs. Let me know your opinion in the comments. All right, that's all I have for now. I hope you enjoyed your journey. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. I am Neil Scribe, and I'll see you on the next journey.